Welcome into Sports Talk with Theo Dorsey, South Georgia. Let's talk sports. We're a few days away from dead week where all practices take a pause and coaches, players, and their families, they tend to go on vacation. But joining us tonight on Sports Talk to talk some football is the Chief Executive Officer of ITG Next, Mark Dykes. Now, Dykes founded the publication formerly known as In the Game Sports back in 2007. The Worth County native has covered South Georgia sports in depth over the years, especially the play on the gridiron. He made the trip to Albany to give his thoughts on the pending fall as well as reflect on an excellent season into the books. And I have to say this is also history, Mr. Dykes, because you're the first nine coach welcoming in. So welcome. Hey, in. okay, I consider that an honor. <laughs> Definitely so. And I'm glad you came here. It's an honor you came to the studio to talk. And before we get into depth, because we're going to talk about football, we're going to talk about the banquet you guys put on and everything. But for those that don't know, what is ITG Next? What do you guys do? I know I've one of your publications. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, the it, you know, everybody out there is going to know us as in the game. That's our primary tagline. Uh, but we are ITG Next. Our website's ITGnext.com. And we started in 2007. Our mission is to cover youth and high school sports in a positive, inspirational way. Uh, we do that via magazine, events, social media, uh, video, and there's so many of these athletes that have great stories, and that's kind of what we want to do is tell the stories. We're not so much an X's and O's kind of publication or company, but we like to go behind the scenes and, and delve into the athlete's story a little bit. Right, and then of course, you know, we, the biggest, you guys put out publications, six uh, magazines a year. We're bi-monthly, correct. Um, and, and I know the biggest one everybody waits on is this uh, August, September. That's it, man. <laughs> hey, we're in South Georgia, right? Yeah. It, the, 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 look, this is the 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 king of high school football, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Obviously in the state, as far as I'm concerned, this is as good as it gets in America. Uh, yes, there's other places, Texas, and uh, some pockets up in Ohio and places, but it doesn't get any better than, than right here where we are in South Georgia. Definitely so, and you guys celebrate that, and that's what makes this very special for those who are watching, because not only do you do that, but you have banquets and, and ceremonies, and I wanna talk about the banquet you just recently had the athletic banquet where you celebrate the whole year of sports for all of the teams. You had 275 student athletes, family members, and coaches join right there in Valdosta back on May 31st. I was able to actually be present as well and help present some awards. And it was a great night. We had Kerwin Bell giving the keynote speech. And also you gave out 70 plus awards to student yes. athletes, um, all different varieties. It wasn't just football. You got Softball, volleyball, yeah. all of that. How so, was that? So we started, this is our South Georgia High School Athletic Awards. And for the past 10 years, we've had a football banquet, which we'll talk about later. Mm -hmm. And we got asked often, look, you know, that's one of the things we do is we cover all sports in our publication and in our videos and everything. So we started this, this event to recognize student athletes in every sport. Mm -hmm. And so, as you mentioned, you had golfers, you had tennis players, track, basketball. So this was really a celebration of the accomplishments of these kids, both on the field and off the field. Right, and you even had some stuff for some of the special need athletes. You we had did, an adaptive service. athlete of the year. Yeah, I mean, we're, uh, you know, we see ourselves as very uh, ground rooted into the community, uh, you know, grassroots kind of company. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's great again to hear about the stories of these kids and accomplishments. And that's what, that night's all about is, is recognizing that and celebrating that. And of course, you did a good job, man. We're glad to have you. Uh, look, I, I appreciate that. I had a lot of fun being there. Yeah. And, and really, uh, you know, I knew of you guys through the publication, through some of your online work, but to get out there to the banquet and actually see some of the work and how the smiles you put on the faces of those families and athletes, that was yeah. special. Yeah, it was awesome. Great night. We're looking forward to it. Uh, this was our fourth year doing it, so next year will be year number five. And our goal is to continue to make it bigger and, and grow it each and every year. Now, I want to talk about something specifically that night. You guys honored uh, Thomasville High School as the athletic program of the year, and rightfully so. It was actually voted on by the fans, right? Yeah, it was. We, we basically, we had, we had five programs, uh, you know, that we looked at and people nominated. And so then we just put it out to social media and let social media pick it. Thomasville won that. Of yeah. course, they had a great year. I mean, their football team was right in the thick of it up until the end. And, of course, their basketball team won a state championship. Yeah. Uh, great accomplishment. And we're looking at it right here. we got a graphic up. Football 12-1, and one, basketball 28-3, and three, baseball 30-7, and seven, soccer 13-7-1. and one. Each four of those programs won the region title. And as well as you got a couple of them with Sweet 16, like you said, Thomasville uh, football, Sweet 16. The basketball team wins the state championship 
66 to 31 over Vidalia. It was, yeah. it was uh, as the Thomasville Times, our partners over there, called it the year of the dog almost. No question. And, and have you seen, when's the last time you've seen like an, an athletic program, one single school have such dominance in so many sports like that? Well, you don't see it as much anymore. If I'm not mistaken, there was a year, now this is, I'm dating myself. <laughs> yeah. You know, but I believe Clinch County won a state title in three sports one year. Mm. That's many, many years ago. Yeah. Uh, but you really don't see that often to be able to have that many sports compete at that level. Yeah, and then for them to do it, and all of them had really dominant years. It's, it's sad yes. that Thomasville football kind of fell out of the Sweet 16 because they were, what, top five in the in the class? They were. In the rankings all year. Yeah, so. yeah look look for them to come back this year. I mean, that was uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, went down to a very good uh, Benedictine team, I believe, in Savannah. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I, I look at that basketball team. I believe it's the first state championship. Mm -hmm. uh, Reggie Perry, outstanding athlete, was our male athlete of the year. Guy has a bright future ahead of him. But... You know, that's awesome. And they've gotten close yeah. multiple times at basketball, but they couldn't punch through. But this year they did. It worked out. It worked out. Now, another thing people look forward to, it, as well as uh, this, this publication that will be given out at the uh, actually at the high school football media day. I don't want to talk about that just, just yet. Right. That's later on. I want to talk about the high school football award ceremony that you do at the end of the year. I know this past year it got kind of shaken up because the Mercedes-Benz thing and everything getting postponed. Yeah. You still held it. Can you talk about what that experience is like to give out the high school football awards? Because I know that's king out here in South Well, Georgia. I'll tell you, I mean, really, you know, I grew up in South Georgia, uh, Worth County. I mean, you know, these communities rally behind these football teams. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a point of pride to go out on Friday night. You're in the stands, you see granddaddy, daddy, mm. family members. That's what South Georgia is all about. And the level of competition in South Georgia is as good as it gets. I mean, these guys will hit hard. It's a high level of play. The coaches do an outstanding job, putting in countless hours. And so we wanted a way to recognize these coaches and these athletes for what they give back and what they do for the community. Mm -hmm. And so 10 years ago, uh, we had our first high school, high, South Georgia High School football banquet. And, it, and it's just grown every year after that. Uh, this past year, uh, they did kind of mess us up a little bit, having to play a couple of games a week late, mm -hmm. but we still had close to 400 people in attendance. We had Kirby Smart as our featured speaker, and it's just a special night for South Georgia High School football. Uh, you can ask these coaches and these players and their family members, and you know, it's not something that we really put out in the community that we do. Unfortunately, we just, we're packed, so we can't really have any other people there. Yeah. It's kind of an event that's for the coaches, for the players, and to recognize the hard work they do. And look, there's, there's years that we have multiple top 10 recruits sitting in that room. Mm -hmm. uh, again, it speaks to the hard work and the quality of football in South Georgia. But it's a great event. We love it. We're going to make sure we get you there this year. Yeah, of course. For I'll sure. be in there. Yeah, no <laughs> doubt. And we get together, you know, it's around 30 high school football programs from around South Georgia. And, man, it's, it's an awesome night. Yeah, definitely after the experience I had in Valdosta back in May, I'll make sure I get there in December. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, just to get out December 11th, it'll be the December 11th on a Tuesday this yeah, year. Yes, on a Tuesday, that's right, yeah. Um, okay, so y'all be on the lookout for that. Be ready for, uh, I guess they can't really get into it, but. Yeah, I can't really get in, but but look for some highlights from it. We, yeah. we put video out. I mean, they'll look to you to yeah. get a recap of it as well. Uh, but again, we had close to 400 people there this past year. We're looking probably this year around 450 people, mm. uh, huge community event. Definitely, now I was going to do some teams to watch. We're, we're not gonna do that anymore because of a time crunch, but I, what I do wanna do is put you on the spot. Oh, we no, had, come on now. <laughs> I got to, I have to. We had right. two South Georgia teams uh, win state championships this past year. Uh, we had Lee County do it at the 6A level, Clinch County do it at the single A level. Which one of those two teams do you think is most likely to be able to do it again and repeat? Oh, man, you put me on the spot. <laughs> Look, you know, I'm one of those that I believe all our teams have an opportunity to, to get out there and win it. Man, Lee County, Coach Fabrizio's done such an outstanding job there. Mm -hmm. uh, he lost some players. Clinch lost some too. But, you know, Clinch at single A, I mean, they got some talent back. I mean, I think – I think they can make a run again. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough to repeat in six A. It's tough to win in general in six A. Look, it's tough to repeat at anything yeah. and win at yeah any level. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see. We'll definitely see what that looks like. Uh, now, a lot of the coaches that you're going to have at the South Georgia Media Days that's coming up 
um, in August, August the 4th. August the 4th. Saturday. Yep. And I'll make sure we get there as well to get there and, and talk to some of those coaches and find out what they have coming up for the upcoming season. Sure. A lot of those coaches have come into this studio and, and, and done sports talk with me, and some of them win, but a lot of them lose at the trivia, which is coming up right after the break. Oh, man. That's Look. how I'm transitioning yeah. into it. So yeah. be prepared. We're going to have some high school football trivia, and we'll see how that goes. We'll see if you can take it. All right, put me on the spot. <laughs> Welcome back to Sports Talk. I'm John Barron. He's Theo Dorsey, and we are joined by Mark with ITG Next. Mark, thank you so much for joining us on the show. Thanks for having me. Now, you guys didn't really tell me about this trivia thing. <laughs> if, I mean, if I put me you on the spot prepared. here, now. you were gonna you were gonna start <laughs> yeah. you were gonna start studying up. That was the problem. We got to bring <laughs> I mean, you in. You should have given me these questions ahead of time. I, like I said, like I said right before we started, if I had a dollar for every participation well, part, yeah. every time we had someone come in, they're always like, "Yeah, come on, man, just give me a, a question or two. So yeah. I go in there. I mean, and just I need get a little help. You know. Well. <laughs> Look what I got right here. We oh got the questions right. right now. All okay. right, here we go. If for many of you that have already seen this before, this is our trivia portion of the game where we give them a series of nine questions, ten if we have to go to uh, overtime. Oh. But hopefully we won't okay. have to. Hopefully everything will be just fine. We can just get straight through the first nine. Yeah. So the first three will be multiple choice. I will give you two possible answers. Person ring the bell first gets the chance to take that question. And if you get it right, you get a ball. Person at the end with the most balls at the end of the game wins. Okay. All, All right. right. You guys ready? You guys ready? Let's go. Let's All go. right, let's go. Question number one. The longest win streak in Colquitt County history considered of how many games? That was, that was me, right? No, yeah. I, what? 30. That is correct. 30 yeah. is no, the answer. No, come on. You have a documentary on it and everything. I know. Well, you know what? See, you're younger than I am. Your reflexes are quicker. <laughs> so <laughs> I think I should. that should have gone to me, right? Oh, man. All right, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll think about that. We gotta, okay, all right. I think he's just going to get the point for right now. Man, that, <laughs> that was an easy one. Okay. That was an easy one. Question number two. <laughs> Mitchell County had, had scored the most points in school history with 569 in what year, 2016 or 1983? No, it is 1983. They got close. Wow. I believe it was 401 in 2016, but the most with 569 was in 1983. Impressive. All right, this is the last multiple choice question. Okay. In the last six, you will have to provide me with the answer, okay? Okay. All right, last multiple choice question. Deerfield Windsor's last football state championship was when what year, 2008 or 2012? I know this one. 12. Why, then why would you? I know it. 2012. <laughs> that is correct. All right. <laughs> Yay, got one. All right, we're tied. Uh, you know, <laughs> why right. would you say, I know that one, then stare at it? See, <laughs> see, you know I did that? Because you didn't know it, but you wanted South Georgia to know that you knew it. I knew it. I know it. So I still think I should have got the 30 and 0. Oh, he's, he's not going to let that one go, man. Yeah, I'm not going to let that one go. If I, going especially back. if I lose by one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, right. we want. <laughs> I'll make sure that doesn't happen. Yeah, okay, oh, all okay, all right. Okay, all right. All right. right. So, question number four. This is the first question that you have to okay. provide the answer. No multiple choice. Ready? Thomas County Central could be considered the team of the 90s for winning how many state titles in that time period? Five. That is correct. Jeez. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. See, they remember that last yeah. question I had about the team of the 80s? Yeah, that was great. yeah, yeah Miami that was Hurricanes. Great. All didn't right. know that one. <laughs> All right. This is the last question before we go to our break. All right. Right okay. now, Mark is up two to one. Yeah. Theo looking to hopefully not have a repeat of last week. I got oh. Amber Barker kind of took him down, but we'll this. see. Ready? Okay. Here we go. Question number four. Cook. Has had quite, <laughs> I'm playing, I'm Cook has had quite a few first team all state selections when it came to football. Who was their last first team all state player? I probably Shannon Brown. No, oh, no but no. if you can give me the year or the player, that one's kind of. You said first team all state? Mm hmm. Um, it's either Darius Cleveland or Brandon Dove. Neither of those are correct. Okay. Either the year or the player? 2007. No. No, 2012, maybe? No, it was 2016. I'm sorry, 2017. Brock 2017, Jones. Brock okay. Jones. All right, that was right. last we year. Yeah. Right. That's stuff. why I was like, I was trying to throw in the year. Hopefully, you guys would get it. You were yeah. kind of close. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Seven. All right. Well, <laughs> we will be right back with more trivia when we come back from the break. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Sports Talk, and with our trivia portion of the game, I'm John Barron, Theo Dorsey, and Mark with ITG Next. Thank you so much again. Right now, Mark is up two to yes. one. 
Thiel really trying should to bring three it back. To one. It should be. He's not going to let that first yeah. question well, go. Actually, it should be yeah, three to nothing. Three to oh, nothing. You yeah. that's right. That's right. You should have no points. <laughs> yes, that's right. But right now we're going to see if we can change that. We'll see if Mark can hold on to his lead and if Theo can come back. Ready? Mm -hmm. Question number six. Wex Stover has won region title. <laughs> what year did they win that title? It was the year they had Trent Thompson. Yep. It was 20... That's a... Yeah. 2014. 2014. No. no. That would be 2015. It was 2013. Mm. That's what it was. It wasn't a senior. Yeah. That's yeah, fine. You know what? I'll give it to him because it wasn't up, even though you kind of were wrong. I will give it to you because right. you wait did bring it up. Wait a minute. I was right. I was whoa, right. Whoa, going, whoa, going, wait a minute. Keep going. Keep going. Because when I beat him, I don't need any excuses. Yes. I can see you mounting the excuses right. right now. Yeah. Right. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You right now, I should be up 4 0. Well, look, I can't claim that one. All right. All right. That's fine. So no one gets that one. All right. So now we're going to go to question number seven. This past season, Pelham had their largest win margin in school history with a 61-point differential. Who was it against? Bacon and Charter. Mm, no. It was against – I, I think I, I remember this one too. No. Um, <laughs> uh -oh. No. You said no? <laughs> no, no, you don't. No, no you don't. Uh, Stewart County. That is correct. Oh, oh man, let me get one right here. That's oh, right. yeah. So you're not supposed to be hot. That looks like we're on the yeah. same team. Well, yeah. I was just saying. I, I, mean, I didn't think he was going to get that one. I was just saying. I didn't think he was going to get it. I put that one in, and I was just like, man, I don't know if someone's going to yeah, get this. I mean, I look, especially game. whenever it comes that, to something abstract, like that. man. Come on. Give us something mainstream. <laughs> okay. man. Come on. All right. You want mainstream? Here we yeah, go. Here All we right. Go. That happened to be question number eight. Thomasville had an undefeated regular season this past year, but fell in the state playoffs. Can I finish the question? Oh, I'm sorry. Wait a <laughs> <That> minute. Was... <laughs> yeah. What was right. the question? They lost to her no. county 28 to no. 14. They were searching for state title number what? <laughs> Whoa. Uh, Thomasville was searching for. How many state titles for, did they have? Yes. They were looking for state title number five. How many were they looking for? Six. Yeah, well, it would have to be six. <laughs> right. I mean, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I, 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 yeah. I don't know that one. Yeah, it, it was uh, state title number yeah, six. They, they have, have five. five. They, they were looking six. for number so six. So nobody gets Technicality. that one. Technicality. Okay. Yep. All right. All right. Well, here we go. This is the last regular question. All right. Now, Whoever gets this one, that's going to be it. All right. Since okay. we don't have to go now, if nobody gets it, we overtime. go to our Here overtime go, question, which death. is fairly easy. <laughs> Make sure someone gets it. Yeah. All okay. Right. All right. Final question. Valdosta has won 36 region titles and has 24 state titles. When was their last state title? 2016. That Woo! is correct. Wait a minute Ooh. now. Ooh. Ooh. Look, I got it. I got it first. He, he got it first. Well, here's yeah. the thing, though. I think it's reflex. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I need you know what? Half a second I, yeah. head start. I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm a little I'll older, so we're not yeah. doing any handicaps yeah. here, all right? Come on, uh, man. We gotta uh, go to break and come right back and talk about some yeah. of South Georgia football. All right, man. Good deal. Welcome back to Sports Talk with Theo Dorsey. I'm Theo. That's John Barron and Mark Dykes of ITG Next. And we are happy because I just won. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he but did. He let, won. Let's clarify. He won because he wanted that half second his reflexes are quicker than mine. Hey, well, Coach, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, come on. Well, Coach, let's go a little further into depth now. Uh, Wait, no, we don't call me Coach yet. So, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I yeah. got you. Yeah. Sorry. All right. No so, problem. Mark, let's, let's go a little further yes. into depth. You know, um, you know, we were speaking briefly about – you know, some of the lack of talent in, you know, Georgia when it comes to high-ranking uh, players. You know, can you touch a little bit on that? Well, you know, again, I think that's relative. I mean, I know that everybody has a, a ranking system where they rank players. And I think this year, if you look, maybe South Georgia doesn't have as many of, say, kids ranked in the top ten. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I tell you, I promise you there's going to be a lot of talent in South Georgia. And before this year is over, some of those kids will be moving up in those rankings. Mm -hmm. uh, I just about guarantee it. Uh, again, I kind of think it's relative. I think the quality of football here will be wonderful on the field for sure. Yeah, and it's not right. This year, just so far, there's not the Otis Reese's, the Quay Walkers yeah. just yet. But yeah. players have a chance to move up the ranks. Sure, no, no, no question. I, I think you'll see some of that. And, again, I think you'll see a lot of the teams, as always, look – I think last year we had a couple of two or three state champions. I think it'll be the same way this year. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me at all if 
we don't have a couple of South Georgia teams playing each other mm. for a state championship, just Again. like Lee and Coffee, you know? Yep, and then Clinch and Irwin. Exactly. Can you speak to, I mean, it, it feels like it's because South Georgia has just a different style of going about it when it comes to high school football. What's that about? Well, I mean, it's, it, it's a way of life here. You know, it is. And these coaches work so hard. They're in the weight room. It's 365 days a year here. And you see that it bears out on Friday night. Look, they'll tell you, state championships, not one during the season, it's one during the off season. And that's what separates South Georgia. It definitely does. And we'll talk more on that throughout the season. We're itching closer. You guys have a happy dead week. Thanks for watching Sports Talk, and thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Always. Yeah.